The theme of Dish of the Day this week has been naughtiness. The acceptable face of naughtiness. And why shouldn't you blast into the weekend with some oh, wonderful puddings, courtesy of Sue Kreitzman. Indulgent desserts they are. But you reckon we can eat these cheesecakes without exploding? My specialty is excess without the calories. So, so yes, what's special we're doing about cheese these then? Cheesecake. I'm from New York. New York cheesecake is legendary. It's been described as wildly excessive, intensely sweet, thickly studded with fruit. Well, that's enough Having... about me. What about the cooking? Well, you and the cheesecake. <laughs> right. You've got three different kinds here. Let's have a look. Each equally delicious. What's this one? This is a rum raisin. This is an orange ginger. And this is a pineapple. And if you look, they have that traditional crunchy bottom. You can't have a real cheesecake without crunchy bottom. There are times I've said that to my wife. <laughs> Right. Crunchy you are bottom. out of control today. <laughs> well, it's Friday. <laughs> yes. Velvet creaminess. I really put just you like the, I'm trying to think velvet. of what to say next. <laughs> <laughs> right. Velvet creaminess. Let's start doing it and stop talking Let's about it. Let's start with the crunchy bottom. There's idea. no better way to begin your weekend. Now, the traditional crunchy bottom is made with... Um, <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. Hello. I'm, there. I'm just waiting to see why it's not doing with me now. <laughs> Digestive biscuits and butter. We yep. can do without that, right? But we want that same effect. We want the crunchy effect. So here are my crunchy bits in the plate right here. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of grape nut cereal. Delightful little nuggets. I've used them every way possible except eating them for breakfast. They're I've heard a rumor that you can eat them for breakfast. It's slow I never have. Grape nuts for breakfast. Well, I think if you put milk on them, they probably sog down a little bit. But they, they're wonderful for cooking. These are amaretti biscuits. Oh, Those lovely. adorable little Italian biscuits. They're almond flavored, but they don't have almonds in them. Almonds are very high fat. These are flavored with apricot stones. So it gives the same effect, but it doesn't give the fat. A bit pricey, so, though, if you wanted to use Well, you amaretti can use you... all grape nuts, all amaretti if you're feeling posh, or half and half. That's what I'm going to do here. You take them, and instead of putting them in melted butter, you put them in a lightly beaten egg. Just lightly beat the egg to break up the protein, and then mush it all together until you get this sort of mortar. That's what I love about cooking. Oh, smell. I like this sort of almondy bit that the, the amaretti will do, because I'm a, I'm a sucker for marzipan and that kind of thing. It is a very marzipan-like smell. Absolutely delicious. So we mush that all up, and you want to put that in a non-stick flan tin and plaster it down there. That. Never has a mush, crunchy mush, bottom mush, 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 so quickly. It's not crunchy right now. And when it's all spread out on the bottom and up the sides of the tin, you put it in an oven, 350, 180, gas mark 4 for about 7 minutes, and it comes out, voila, mm. a crunchy bottom. It's quite and hard, isn't it? It's quite hard now, but when the filling goes into it, it softens up a little bit. And it's, you know, it's not supposed to be really tough. You don't want to break your teeth on it. <laughs> so there it is. Now, the first filling we're going to make is a pineapple filling. And this is one tin of crushed pineapple that has been drained and squeezed dry. And you take that juice and drink it, or you don't have oh, to give it to give it to, it to the woman who had no, the nine egg yolks right, yesterday. You so visit her in the hospital and see if she wants a little sweet <laughs> <laughs> to cheer her up. So into that, we're, now I have to say first, don't think that uh, tinned fruit is not a good kind of ingredient. It's great. It's great to have that stuff in the larder. So it's not low class or... It's, it's marvelous. It's absolutely marvelous. Into that, we're going to put four cartons of quark, seven-ounce cartons. That makes 28 ounces altogether. Um, and here it is, very creamy. Mm. Yeah, Remember, so this quark, stuff always looks good, doesn't it? Really like well, okay. the thing is, it's hard to believe that it has no fat whatsoever. It's not low fat. It's no fat. And that's quite amazing. So we're going to mix that in and flavor it with what? Rum. A tablespoon of rum. Mm. Oh, look at this. And a little bit of natural vanilla essence, and make sure it is really natural vanilla essence and not that horrible Very vanilla. Lovely. Thank you. And then you can sweeten it to taste with low-calorie sweetener. I like to use Candorel. How much you use will depend on your particular sweet tooth. A couple of tablespoons will probably be enough. Now, this mixture needs to go into the food processor. Uh, or you can do it with an electric beater, but I prefer the food processor. It gets really, really fluffy. And here it is, all fluffed out. Just like an old cheese making method. Yeah. This well, you see, I've lined this. It is cheesecloth or muslin or even a jelly bag. I've put it into a sieve and all the whey drays out underneath. And you can either throw that away or you can give it to your neighbor. <laughs> 
I'd you're love to live next door to you. So far, well, I don't know what the last you're... two days, I've got nine egg yolks, a load of whey. And a little uh, juice, a little fruit juice. But actually, you can use that in bread baking. It'll make a beautiful, fluffy, fruity bread, if you want to. But this is super. It's a pineapple cheese, and you can use that to spread on your toast, as mm. is. But for the cheesecake, you're going to dump it into yet another bowl of pineapple. This is one more tin of one more tin of crushed pineapple that has been squeezed dry. So you have the fluffy bits and you have the big bits and you do that all together. Yeah, so you mix all and that And there you in. have a beautiful... Let's move on to your other mix here while you're doing that. And this one all is... All over the place. <laughs> so we're messy cooks here. Excuse me? Okay, this is a raisin mixture. So to make this one, you have beautiful dried raisins. You have the grated zest of an orange, the grated zest of a lemon. And simmer that in a frying pan with more rum, a little bit of vanilla, um, some water until it gets really plump and aromatic. Drunken raisins, Wonderful. really Ooh, delicious. God, Danny the champion of the world could have done with those. It'd save him stitching all that stuff into it. <laughs> and then if you process that in with four small cartons of quark, you don't need to drain it because the bits of raisins soak up the excess liquid. Mm -hmm. So this is a flecked, raisin flecked, rum flavored filling for the cheesecake. So all we have to do that now is spread it into our, into our cases. Yeah, you spread this one right. and I'll spread this one. Right, while we're doing mm -hmm. that, I'll give you the recipe. This is what you need for the pineapple cheesecake. Two tins of crushed pineapple in natural juice. 28 ounces, that's not a misprint, 28 ounces of quark. One teaspoonful of natural vanilla essence one tablespoonful of dark rum, two and a half ounces of amaretti di Savonno biscuits, just a little Italian there for you, two and a half ounces of grape nuts, turn the page, two egg whites, and for the garnish, half a tablespoon of light brown sugar mixed with half a tablespoonful of grape nuts cereal. It's all on CFAX page 615, or in Sue's book, Slim Cuisine, Indulgent Desserts. Don't you think it's amazing, the fact that I can recite all that recipe and do this beautiful cheesecake? That's good, like but that. look at mine. Yeah, show off. <laughs> 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 Already <laughs> garnished. Well, yours so. is good too. Yours is not bad. Well, it wasn't that bad yeah. at all. So, again, that's the, the, the raisin. That's the rum raisin. Rum raisin. And we've garnished that with sweetened quark and raisins and a little bit of that low-fat cocoa. Mm -hmm. This one is crystallized ginger inside, and it's exactly the same as the pineapple, except it's made with mandarins and the crystallized ginger, and we've garnished that beautifully. Mm -hmm. And this is the pineapple. And we've garnished that with crumbled um, grape nuts and amaretti and brown sugar on top. Wonderful. I shall eat all these this morning. Nobody in the office will see all these. It's been a pleasure working with you. We'll see you again in May when you, you're back with us then. Rosemary More Moon desserts. will be back on Monday. More filling desserts from her sweet indulgence this year. But now, a cheesecake of our own, and he is fattening. Stan and Potter. <laughs> He's getting all the lines in today, isn't he? He's on overdrive. I can't <laughs> wait for seeing today later on. Welcome along with the weekend.